Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the live example going through the combined component. Let's break this combined component down. It's super simple, super easy, and very powerful. First, let's go into Navigator and look at the structure that we have inside Designer. This is a straightforward Webflow structure when you have more than 100 items that you want to display in a single collection. We have our first collection list wrapper starting at 1, showing 100. Our second collection list wrapper is starting at 101 and showing 100. Great, we're now showing 200 items on the page, same collection. It's exactly how we would normally set this up inside Designer. You can see that we have a clear border that's breaking up the two collection lists. There's two on the page inside the clonable wrapper. When we publish the site by default, we would see this same exact structure on the page and same exact structure inside Inspector. On the published site with the combined component, we are going to see the magic working. Let's scroll down to project 100 where we would expect to see that border break up and it's not there. We have the border here. It should be on the published site, but it's not because they are all inside the same collection list wrapper. And this is not just a visual trick. We're not just removing the border. We are actually combining these items into one single collection list. And we will prove that here inside Inspector. We have our clonable div that we have inside Designer. We have our collection list wrapper that we have inside Designer. We would expect to see a second collection list, but we don't. We have our collection list with our collection list items all inside. And this is clearly more than 100 items. It has all 200 in this same list. This is awesome for when you need to sort filter, or have all of your items inside one single list. Now we're in example two where we're going to combine five different lists. This doesn't only work for two lists. It works for five. It works for 10. It works for 20. You can have as many combined lists as you want inside this component. Check it out. We have collection list wrapper, collection list wrapper, collection list wrapper, and so on and it's that same structure, the same way that we would put 500 items on a published site. Start at 401, show 100. We have our border breakups, we have our different collection lists, and when we go on the live site, you will not see those breakups. No break, no border break, nothing, nothing, nothing. These are all inside the same collection list wrapper. And inside Inspector, let's just check it and make sure that it is exactly what we want. We have our clonable div, we have our collection list wrapper, and you would expect to see four more, but you don't because we're using the combined component. And check it out. We have our collection list items, all 500, inside one single list. Awesome. This is working exactly as planned. Now let's look at the classes that we have to apply in order for this component to work. This is dead easy. We only need one single class that is applied to the collection list. We have here the collection list wrapper. This is the outer wrapper of that dynamic list. And we have this collection list wrapper. This is not the class that we have to care about. We only care about this class, collection list. So please understand the difference between these two. This is the collection list wrapper. This is the collection list. And here in collection list, we have conveniently given it a class of collection dash list. All of the dynamic lists that we want to combine must have this class. And when it sees that collection list class, it's going to combine all of those lists together. So we have collection list, collection list, collection list, and so on. So now in JavaScript, we are going to use that collection list class to combine these lists. This is all of the code that we need in order to combine our lists. The very first thing we have to do before the closing body tag is put the FN Suite CMS library script on the page. 
as you can see here, this is not the real script file. When we launch this, we're going to have a hosted file for you to use. So we need that library on the page in order for this next part to work. And in our project specific script, we are first going to run a function. This function is going to happen immediately when we load the page. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new FS library. This is a new instance of the library. We're telling the library we're going to use you and we are going to use you on this collection list class. This is the class that we put on that collection list, that middle item of a dynamic list. And we are going to take this whole new instance that we're running on this class and store it in a variable called projects grid. And now that we have all that information in a variable, we can now use that variable later on in the script, which we are doing in this next line. Projects grid, projects grid. What are we gonna do with projects grid? We're going to run the combine method on this instance. Bam, that's it. We have our projects grid, we're combining it, and now all of the dynamic lists with collection list class will be combined into one single list. What can you customize here? You can customize the class. You can have any class on your collection list. You can also customize this variable. It doesn't have to be projects grid. It could be my grid, it could be blog post grid, whatever you want, you can do it as long as you use that same variable name when you combine. That's effing sweet.